Welcome to PLZ Soccer. I'm Peter Martin. If you're having your lunchtime cup of tea, you're watching it on uh, the website, on your laptop, or indeed on your phone, or any device whatsoever. Delighted to have your company. I'm taking you through the headlines and most of the back pages and some of the talking points uh, throughout the day in Scottish and English football. Uh, first of all, let me start with the uh, Daily Express, and it's a story which has featured right across quite a few of the papers. This is quoting Chris Sutton, and basically uh, Chris is saying, Graham Marty should walk away from a toxic situation at Ibrox. It's an ongoing situation with the fallout from Lee Wallace and Kenny Miller allegedly having a real uh, verbal uh, tirade towards the manager. Did it happen? Some of the players actually uh, look as if they're going to try and get behind Kenny Miller and Lee Wallace on this one. This story is developing hour by hour, but the upshot of it all is the two players have been suspended pending an investigation. Will you hear anything from the players? Highly unlikely at the moment. Uh, because they'll have been speaking to the PFA Scotland, getting some advice legally on where they stand on their contracts. And of course, Rangers have to study the evidence and then make a decision on this. Uh, but what about Graham Murty? Is there a, an element of sympathy for you for the uh, Rangers manager? He's had to worry in the last couple of months about whether he's going to get the job. Some said at one point he was in pole position. And then slowly but surely after a, a defeat to Celtic in the Scottish Cup semi-final, it seems as if his world has come crashing around him and it doesn't look as if he's going to be the Rangers manager. Should he walk away now with only five games remaining? I'll be honest with you, I don't think so. Graham will sit in there uh, and conduct himself in the proper manner and try and deflect all the questions. He's got a press conference coming up and it'll be interesting to see how he tries to just uh, basically fend off all the questions about what happened in that dressing room. It certainly was a fiery affair. Uh, the main back page in the Express uh, is another club in interested in Moussa Dembele. This time Scott Burns is writing about Villarreal could be ready to tempt Celtic with a £15 million offer for the Frenchman. Remember, this is a guy who uh, was reportedly worth £25 million, uh, just over a year ago, but uh, times change. He's back scoring goals again, you never know. It could start to go up the way. How much is Moussa Dembele worth in today's market? So, you can give us your thoughts on that at PLZ Soccer on Twitter, facebook.com forward slash PLZ Soccer. Um, so that's the stories in the Express. On the back page of The Sun, uh, this is Alan Stubbs and and also Lee McCulloch, they were out actually promoting the Scottish Grand National and Stubbs has suggested any suggestion of an, a carve-up between Hibs and Celtic uh, to basically allow Celtic to need the points against Rangers in the next match is basically what they're talking about. Alan Stubbs says the professionalism of the players, they want to get it done. Celtic will want to win the title at Easter Road. I'm sure Neil Lennon will have something to say about that. Uh, and they have an exclusive there from Andy Devlin who basically says Hibs and Motherwell are looking at Kenny Miller uh, when his contract expires in the summer. He'll be 37, 38 possibly. Uh, and in fact, uh, I think he is 38. 38-year-old uh, uh, for Hibs or Motherwell. What do you make of that? Could he still score goals in the top flight in Scotland? Certainly Kenny keeps himself fit. Um, it depends on whether maybe the managers will look at it and think, is, is he going to be a negative influence in the dressing room? Well, I know Kenny. He's certainly not that type of person. I'll be gobsmacked if he is guilty of any treachery in this whole Rangers affair. Uh, Rangers, just a little sidebar on the back page of the Sun saying they've got a £10 million pound kit deal that they'll announce with Hummel um, so the Rangers fans finally will get to buy a shirt and know that the greater proportion of the money will be going into the club which I think is a good thing for them and the SFA chief executive's job at the SFA are meeting uh, to discuss that and I think uh, I think it's actually Ian Maxwell from Partick Thistle is the red hot favourite but there are other candidates uh, that they're talking to on that. So there you have the back pages of the Express and the Sun. Uh, what about the Daily Record? Well, again, uh, this one here is basically saying that the, the, the players have been hung out to dry. Now, this one's taking a twist and turn on it because basically the suggestion is here uh, from the Daily Record that a lot of the players are backing Kenny Miller and Lee Wallace on this. This is just one of those games where you lose it. Players start venting their anger towards each other, telling some of the players who's pulling uh, you know, their weight and who is not really bothering about being hammered for nothing by Celtic. So 
this one again I'll be interesting to see how it all pans out and of course the Graham should quit uh, Rangers from Chris Sutton on the back page there. I'm not quite sure uh, Gra uh, Graham will do that. I don't think that's going to happen, to be honest with you. Uh, there's an interesting column inside from the dealer record, Barry Ferguson, uh, suggesting that, um, listen, if players can't vent their anger after a demoralising defeat to Celtic, when can they? It shouldn't be a problem. Of course, Barry on our show yesterday uh, mentioning the fact that he was sickened by the performance, but again emphasised that uh, you know players have to be able to understand what Rangers is all about and uh, they have to be able to obviously have a go at each other. That's par for the course, really. If you're a winner at all, uh, you certainly don't like getting beat against your or beaten by your greatest rivals. Uh, and Chris Sutton has suggested in the Daily Record that uh, Neil Lennon could be the ideal man to come back to Celtic as manager if Brendan Rodgers leaves for the bright lights of London in the summer. Of course, the Arsenal story just won't go away. Uh, dare I suggest to you, I don't think Neil Lennon would be back as Celtic manager, even if Hibs finished second. I just get the feeling that if they are going to look for a manager in the summer, and this is of course a big if, uh, I've spoken to Brendan Rodgers on a, a number of occasions, if uh, Brendan Rodgers was going to leave Celtic, then I would suggest to you uh, that Steve Clark would be in the box seat. There's a shout for you. What do you make of that? I think Steve Clark and what he's achieved at Kilmarnock, uh, and there is a suggestion uh, that he is a Celtic fan. Um, a long suggestion, but nevertheless, I would uh, put money on Steve Clark being the next choice as Celtic manager if Brendan Rodgers were to leave. But I don't know, I get the feeling that Brendan Rodgers, having spoken to him, still feels as if he's got unfinished business with Celtic. The European campaign, at times they've taken a fair hammering. Uh, I think Brendan Rodgers would be looking to stay with Celtic. And as ever, always like to quote The Guardian. The back pages of The Guardian, basically, the big photograph is of Lukaku scoring the goal for Manchester United. It was a 2-0 win for Manchester United against Bournemouth. Uh, I think that puts them in really a good position to finish second behind Man City, quite a distance behind Man City nonetheless. Uh, but Mourinho made seven changes to the side. This, of course, with the game against Tottenham in the FA Cup semi-final at the weekend in mind. And uh, Jose Mourinho's side, comfortable enough there. Uh, Paul Pogba in the team, of course, we're talking about it this week. Would United sell Paul Pogba in the summer? Um, also, uh, Patrick Twig has just uh, sent a little message in with regards to the reaction to some of the headlines. He just says, King must go for the good of Rangers in Scottish football. Um, and, and believe it or not, Patrick says, I'm a concerned Celtic man. I don't think too many people would share your view on that, Patrick, if you were a Celtic fan. I think quite a few of them, I get the feeling, are looking at this and just waiting to see uh, the next chapter in this soap opera at Ibrox unfolding. Uh, so... In The Guardian, apart from Manchester United, there's a great piece on Accrington Stanley. Now, if you're of a certain vintage, a certain age, you'll always remember that milk advert with the two little scousers chatting to each other. Accrington Stanley, who are they? Exactly. Uh, there's a great piece in there on their 130-year history. Of course, they've won promotion back to League One in English football. So it's a great tradition there. And there's a certain romance about Accrington Stanley as well. Always good to see a positive uh, story on football. The weekend's football to look forward to. St Mirren will be handed the uh, championship trophy at the weekend. There might be a guard of honour from the Morton players. Could you believe that? A guard of honour for St Mirren from the Morton players. Who knows about that one? And also, uh, as far as Celtic are concerned, they could clinch the title at Easter Road on Saturday in the early kickoff. Should there be a guard of honour from the Rangers players? in the home match for Celtic in the next game after the split. Uh, I'm sure that would rile more than a few that suggestion, but let me tell you, if Celtic don't win against Hibs at Easter Road and they have to win against uh, Rangers, uh, that could be a powder keg game for the basis that everybody's been trying to stop it being uh, you know, a decider for Celtic to win the title. Um, but if Celtic do win at Easter Road, look out for that being our next back page headline. Uh, Rangers should provide a guard of honour for Celtic and their title winning team. I don't think it's going to happen ever, but... I bet you somebody uh, rakes that up and fires it out in the papers for what we call in the west of Scotland 
uh, a noise up. Simple as that. Give us your thoughts on the back page headlines. Don't forget, Alan Ruff will be with me today with Hugh McDonald of the Daily Mail. He'll be joining us for our live at half past four. We'll be talking about all these issues and much more because uh, the Celtic manager and players will be having their press conference today ahead of uh, the game against Hibs on Saturday. We'll be talking about the games north of the border in the Premiership delve into the championship with Hugh McDonald and we'll also look down south to both FA Cup's semi-finals of course it's uh, Manchester United against Tottenham at Wembley and over and above that Chelsea against Southampton you can give us your view incidentally if you want to download the app you can uh, just get it on your phone in Google Play and on the App Store PLZ Soccer, you can actually record a video of your uh, message, anything that's annoying you and uh, we'll have a look at the best ones and if you feature on the show in your video, then we will give you a competition prize, something worthwhile. Download the app. You could be a winner. You could win yourself a little bit of football memorabilia. Uh, and also over and above that, on a daily basis, on the website, www.plzsoccer.com, you get all the latest news, north and south of the border, European football, world football too. Uh, and on the app, on the phone, you get your news right at your fingertips. Uh, join us at half past four if you can. Thanks for watching.